Once again, I have been drugged away from home against my will to Detroit, where I'm up here for work again. And, uh, you know, it's uh, getting kind of old. But that aside, we can do this. We can dive into the deep, dark realms of Marketplace. Now, uh, what are we going to look for today? Today, I want to focus on the cars that are old, cool, but not worth as much as people think they are. So let's get started. So, one second here. Get my chat up. There we are. Oh boy, that chat's rolling fast. All right, all right. So here's one I noticed already, right? 67 Impala. Not too bad, not too bad. $5,000, okay? It doesn't run. Cash only. Not running, it's a four-door post Impala. It's not worth it. It's not worth that. And uh, it's kind of, I don't know why, I've just been kind of looking at these lately, Impalas, and uh, just noticed that people are insane. There's two cars for the price of one. You get two heaps for the price of one. And one's a convertible. Or is it? I don't know. That one's not too bad. But I have noticed a few as of late. <laughs> Let's see what else. What else do we got here? Um, here's a '63, ah, four door, six cylinder, three speed on the tree. Ah, clear Missouri title. Oh my God! Not a lot left of that one. Not a lot left. Oh, oh my goodness! It's got the cool antennas. You know that's something. Yeah, these, uh, well, here's another. Here's one. This is a good one I, I've seen recently. 350 with the first stage cam. Wow. Which, I mean, the first stage. Not the second or the third. The first. Runs and drives great. It's got a fresh oil change in it, so you can't see the milkshake in the uh, in there. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else. See a uh, new alternator and battery. Oh, okay, okay. And you might think, okay, forget I showed that, but you might say, well, you know, I mean, fifty five hundred. Then you see that, you're like, okay, well, the quarters are gone. Yeah, yeah. Filler panels are gone. Yep. Oh, it's got a mismatched right front fender. Yep, yep. Missing center caps. Oh yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, it is trashed inside. Oh man. And it's trashed over there, too, and in here. You know, that's uh, that's just not worth it. Uh, but, you know, it does come with a trunk full of uh, that, so that's cool. Uh, let's see here. What, what, what else is there? I know I've seen a few lately. Oh, this one's probably a crackhead for sure. I mean, this is something I want to get across. It needs to be mentioned at least a dozen times a day, right? Uh if just because a car is old doesn't mean it's worth anything, especially if it's a four door. I'm sorry, I I don't have a problem with four doors, but they're not worth the same amount. Is this worth that? I don't know, probably not. But I have seen worse pricing on here. Hmm, <laughs> seventy six Monte Carlo for fifty three hundred dollars. I mean. Nobody wants a 76 Monte Carlo. I mean, they're not bad looking cars, but I mean, no. <laughs> now, that's pretty cool. This little Fairlane. Hmm. Gasser needs some finish welding. Okay, so it's in pieces, or it might as well be. It's cool looking, though. It's really cool. I just, I don't know when that became a $5,000 car, but it was pretty recently. Hmm. 
anything else in here. I thought this was probably a pretty good buy. Seventy-seven Camaro Type LT. Oh yeah, it's, it's some really good pictures you got there, but oh, spectacular! I didn't, I didn't even know what to say about that. <sighs> hmm. Check out the chat. Hello, everybody. Well, then let's see here. Well, let's see. Uh, I thought. I saw something. I'm gonna I'm gonna type in 383 stroker because that's gonna bring up every smogger turd small block for miles around. Hmm. 396 for four thousand dollars. That would have to be pretty special. Got a video of it running. And an Instagram post. That's pretty cool. Okay. And no information. So that means nothing. Mm. Mm hmm. Stroker Big Block Mopar. There we go. 84 Chevrolet. Ah. This has a 383 stroker in it, apparently. Is that a pulling truck? Oh, it's a mud truck project. Okay. Poor condition would be a uh, be a stretch. I like the radiator though, the plywood. That's that's cool. Huh. Interesting. Yep. I, is that that's not actually what he's calling a 383 stroker, right? I mean, really, I see flat tops, maybe something. No way. Oh, there's a TPI 305. Let's throw that in a dumpster. I don't know. What else should we look for here? Got to be something. What is something that crackheads flock to? You know, the old cars. Old cars, I should say. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I always look for Torino. What do we got for Torino? 68 Fairlane for $15,000. Rust free. Maybe. Huh. Brand new tires on mismatched wheels. I mean, guys, no. It did. Again, it's a nice car. It's a cool car. It's not a valuable car. It's a formal roof fair lane. I'm sorry. It's not a Torino. <laughs> That's just not the way it works. How about this? 77 T-Bird pictures you can't see. I mean, it's got... Tears of the upholstery and filthy inside. I mean, it looks okay, decent car, but those cars are not worth that kind of money. They're just not. It needed a lifter. So you can put in a whole new set of lifters in it. Well, that's <laughs> that's something. I'm sure there was, you know, no cam lobe damage due to that. No, no, nah, that would never happen. 66 Galaxy for $10,000. Count the number of doors. We have four of them. Original 289 engine. That's uh, that's not anything special in a Galaxy. Looks nice. Looks nice. Looks like a, a Mako paint job. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's a car. But $10,000. Thousand dollars. They didn't even paint the door jams. You know, I mean, <laughs> come on, guys. Come on. That's uh, that's not going to happen ever. It's just a turd. That's like a three thousand dollar car at best. Count the doors. If it's four, the price go down. Hmm. What's that? 
what's this? 65 T Bird. Okay, well, 390. Runs good, no leaks. Hood insulator pad is falling off of it, laying on the engine. Why wouldn't you just remove that? But it's a nice car. Is it worth $13,000? No, it's a 65 Thunderbird. <laughs> but is it nice? Is it worth something? Yeah, but it's like a $10,000 car done. That might be a bargain here. 77 Ranchero. Ran when parked. Ooh. Ooh. The hideous stacked rectangle headlight front end. But charming in its own way. She'd been sitting there a minute. That'd be a pretty good video, actually. Where is that? Hmm. I might have to think about that one. <laughs> 82 Blazer. 6.2 diesel, non-running. What a shock. Uh, they took the heads off the engine years ago. Probably had that typical head cracking problem that those things had. I don't know, 3500 bucks for that. I, if it's solid, it's not. That's a great picture. You could just pull the carpet up there, buddy. I dare you. <laughs> There's nothing left of it. Oh, my God. I mean, it needs everything. It's not, I don't know, 1500 bucks. I mean, 1500 bucks, maybe. I don't know. My dad just bought one that was nicer than that with a locked-up small block and a four-speed for 1500 bucks. And the guy delivered it. They are out there. You just got to look. Hey, look. Does this look familiar? Looky there. It's the convertible LTD, Mr. Uh, uh, Doug Fitzpatrick, uh, I, he's the one I got to, that traded that for that parts Mustang for, and uh, he used it for parts for his LTD convertible, a real one. <laughs> what else do we got here? Okay, uh, 73 Pontiac Le Mans, okay, all right, project car. Runs and drives. Needs restored inside and out. Okay, I can see the Bondo in it from the picture, so that's a good that's a good start. But I don't know. Four fifty five. I mean, it's got sheepskin seat covers. That that adds quite a bit. Uh, not that much though. I mean, you know, again, I get you got to ask. You can only go down on price, right? You can't go up, but. Uh, I had three, I don't know, four. Hmm. Does anybody see anything else they want? Cutlass? You could definitely look for a cutlass. And, of course, the first thing that shows up is a Grand Prix. Yep, typical pig Grand Prix. Oh, it has no engine or transmission. <laughs> For $2,000. Oh, really? Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> My God. 76 Monte Carlo. That's the same one. I get fooled again. 77 Cadillac. I see a CB radio. Okay. I mean, it's missing the uh, bumper fillers, but pretty much all of them are. Yeah, 6800 bucks or best offer. Running, driving, hop in and go. Yeah. I mean, it, it, that's a little bit high, but there's room for negotiation there, right? That's not bad. This one's a joke. I was looking at this. 
It's a 73 Cougar. For one, nobody's ever liked a 73 Cougar. Uh, 351 Q code, four speed car. Engine does not turn over, doesn't have the transmission. Well, it kind of kills it, doesn't it? <laughs> Needs floors and trunk floor, which is great. You know, that's uh, real easy to do in those. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it had the transmission, sure, 2100 bucks, but that's scrap. Um, what else we got here? Anything? There's another 77 Monte Carlo for $7,500. Hmm. Custom paint job. I mean, dig that custom paint job. That's slick. That would have been cool as hell in 1987. Hasn't ran in about 15 years. No rust, you know, other than all the rust it probably has. Swivel buckets, it's cool. Again, nice car, not a valuable car. The barn dust does add some value. It's probably 500 bucks of value in barn dust, at least. You know, you could always bottle it, sell it by the ounce. Uh, somebody said... Uh, $10,000 coronet. I, I must have missed that one. Here, what's this? Another 67 Galaxy 289 automatic transmission. Uh, hasn't been driven for many years. Starts and runs. So it needs everything. But that is a nice 67 Galaxy. There, uh, there's rust under the, under the windows. But that's a nice car. If you wanted a 67 Galaxy. Is it worth $10,500? No, it's not. I, I'm i sorry. You're going to have a really hard time selling a car for that kind of money that can't be driven. Unless it's a Corvette or a, um, you know, 64 to 70 Mustang. You know, maybe that. But... You're not, uh, somebody said, look at this New Yorker. I think I've looked at it before and it didn't seem like a half bad car. 440, big block, 727. Uh, low mileage, drives great. Drives great, doesn't look like it's moved in years. It's got a, Red Missouri tag on it, so that'd be like 1997-ish, like late, it'd be 90s, I think. I think 98 they went to a blue tag. I mean, it's a car. 3500 is crazy for that. No, no, I mean, it'd be a good demo derby car for demo derby prices. <laughs> what else? What else? Seventy-three olds, eighty-eight. Oh, wow! Seventy-five hundred. You know what? It's a better deal than that Galaxy. Anyway, we'll just go away from that. There we go. Um, it's another Grand Prix. Oh, those just keep falling off of trees. It's a 72 Nova. Picture brought to you by Potato. Ah, gutted. No motor or trans. But he's open to trades. I got some lakefront property in Arizona. Yeah. This is uh, that car lot where I bought those cars for 500 bucks a pop at. This El Camino could probably be built here. It was one of the better ones, so I didn't buy it. But yeah, no, I, you could probably get that for uh, 500 bucks if you want it. And this one has a title, 78 El Camino. That's an independence if you want to, if anybody's local.
No, I'm not looking up a 68 Dodge Charger. Everybody knows that Mopar guys want a fortune for everything, especially Chargers. I mean, that's a that's, – we want to dive in. We want to get deeper than that. You know, we want to go down the rabbit hole. There's a 68 Cutlass for a mere $30,000. What? All original. Drop top. Uh -huh. That car would need to be nearly perfect for $30,000. I can see that the roof bracing or the uh, bows and the convertible top are rusting. Uh, so that's something. It works. And the engine has been immaculately Krylon rebuilt. That uh, 30 grand. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Take that thing to Meekum and, and go rip somebody off, but that's never going to happen. Here's one. So I like this car a lot. I know it's probably tough to see, but this 72 Galaxy, get big white lightning vibes off of it, right? It looks decent inside. It's got a couple tears in the seat. And the paint, it needs paint work and stuff, you know. And it's got those soft, eight really cheap wheels on it. But raised white letter tires makes anything look good. Uh, $6,500 for that. It would have to be a 429 car, and it's not. It's a, it's a 400. Has a big block, 400. That's not a good thing, buddy. Settle down. Uh, with the C6 transmission, it's probably an FMX. Um uh, yeah, that's uh, it's got all kinds of new stuff on it. it. Runs and drives and everything. Clean title. Jump in and drive anywhere. And I believe them. And I would buy that car for probably three, you know. But it's just not a desirable car. Just because it's old doesn't mean it's desirable. I. This guy, I guess, is I, I'm in a couple Torino groups, right? And this guy's been getting flack for asking too much for this, and I think this is a good deal. It's a clean title, 72 Torino. Uh, it's got the front bumpers bent, and that really sucks on those cars because that's a one-year-only thing. So is the grill. But, you know, the, it could be worked with. Uh, it's a 351 Windsor, so it'd be easy to get going again. He says it turns over with the battery. It's just missing the carburetor. Uh, and it, I mean, it may be rusty, but it's not. I mean, God knows I've drug home worse than that. That roof would have to be nearly gone for that to not be worth $2,500. There's, there's far more than that in parts there. If I was a little bit closer, I'd probably snag that thing. I just don't have the time right now. But manual brake, manual steering, 72 Torino, that's an ass car. I know it's not a sport roof, but it'd be cool. Well, that's cool. Hmm. 73 Torino, or oh, 73 Cutlass, four-door. That's a very clean 73 Cutlass. Needs engine work and an alignment. It has a leak. I suspect is rear main seal. Motor has blow-by. Not running at full capacity. Well... This uh, isn't back to the future, but I don't know what that means. But, you know, I mean, that's a pretty clean car. Four-door, it's worth, you know, make a $1,500 offer on it. You probably own it. 65 Le Mans for two grand. Ooh, convertible at that. Sitting since 1982. That's very cool. It's a Tempest. Not Le Mans. It's rough as hell, but you know what? I mean, that'd be a pretty fun one to do. Well, what else? What else are we looking for here? Hmm. Anybody? Uh, anybody got anything good for me to look up? Camaro, really? I mean, I mean, sure, we could look up Camaro, but that's that's like the I don't know, it's the white bread of muscle cars. I mean, ugh. 
But, oh, good God, that's special. I don't think the price is bad, but that's special. No issue at all. Clean title. 350 motor. Just put in 5000 I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll be 4500 bucks. It's worth that. It is well worth that. It's ugly, but it's, somebody's probably into it. Seventy three Camaro. Front end is new. Rear end is a nine inch. Okay. Uh, big laundry list has a title for a mere nine thousand uh, dollars. No engine or trans or anything. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Hmm. What's this? 82 Corvette. Oh, man. It's got the retro stereo and subs in the back. It runs and drives perfect. $11,000. I, I don't know about that, but okay. Um, hmm. Looking at what we're looking for. Cougars. We can look at Cougars again. Uh, there's a Datsun. Two eighty. It's a nice looking little Datsun. Clean title. We'll need trailer. It doesn't run. Eight thousand dollars. I don't know about that, buddy. I really don't. I really don't. There is one specific crackhead I want to point out here. I saw an SX4 for sale earlier. There it is. So you know my SX4, my five-speed, four-o, four, you know, four-barrel split header SX4 I have uh, that I paid a thousand dollars for. Then put some work into. I actually might have sold it to Junkyard Digs for twenty-five hundred dollars. And that's all it's worth. This car is in considerably worse condition than that one. It has a knock. He says it has a knock down here. Bunch of BS information that nobody cares about. They're not that rare, especially in 81. They built close to 100,000 of them. Uh, it's clean enough, but $6,500 for that car. Look at the rust pitting on that fender. You, um, wow. It's been sitting. Like the, Those cars really don't rust that bad. And so if you see rust, it's probably pretty advanced. That car's worth every bit of $1,500. <laughs> anyway. That's the that's one crackhead I wanted to point out. Somebody says, "Get you the info on the Mercury Zephyr and Lawrence." I, dude, I don't know. Get on Marketplace and look for it. <laughs> uh, let's see, Biscayne and Skylark. Skylark would be a good one. I don't think we've ever done that. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. This car has been for sale for a while. Uh, and I, I mean, I get it. It's not, I don't know. It's not really anything special, but I think, I think that's worth it. This is a Sun Coupe. It has a retractable vinyl top in the roof. It's like a, like a moon roof. It's probably a terrible idea, but they're cool in their own right. And I don't know. I, I think it's neat. It says the engine might be stuck or something. Uh, if it had a title, oh yeah, it does have a good title. I don't know how that hasn't sold. I really don't. It doesn't look that bad. And it's a pretty rare car. It's a little rusty. I'd like to know what the frame looks like, but you know, 
that could be built. That'd be a good builder for somebody. It's been for sale for uh, 15 weeks. So what, almost four months? Somebody make that guy a, you know, $1,200 offer and see if you can get yourself a 72 Skylark. Seventy-five Le Mans, one of less than two hundred. Oh my God, it's rare. No, it's not. Here's the thing: it's a seventy-five Le Mans. Nobody wanted them then. Nobody wants them now. And that's it's it's rare. It's a one of etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. That doesn't mean shit. Okay, it's just no. It's not desirable. It's a seventy-five Le Mans. It's a colonnade car. I like the colonnade cars personally. You might like them personally, but they're not a sought after vehicle. Now, this one seems, seems to be in okay shape. It says engine may be junk. I would tend to agree with that assessment. It's probably a 352 barrel because that Le Mans GT doesn't mean anything. I see a rust hole up in the side of the quarter, like, you know, waist high. That is a pretty bad indication. I'm not going to lie to you. But 3500 that's a little too much. Maybe he's one of those. He just threw a number at it. 1500 that would That should buy that. You know what I'm not seeing is any 68 Cutlasses. Those things are hard to find. You'll see in tomorrow's video uh, why I need a 68 Cutlass. Uh, somebody wants to look for Fieros, you monster. Uh, let's see here. Oh, my God, I shouldn't click on that. That's just, no, no. 63 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Okay. 2,500 is a little high. Has a title, though. Bet finding that back window would be a bitch. But, I mean, it looks pretty decent. Motor turns over. I I don't know. There's a car there. You know, again, make an offer on that. You could have a car. I get asked all the time. Like, so I get asked all the time, how do you find these cars for good deals? And it's as simple as what we're doing right now. I get on Marketplace and I just search marketplace and I'm, I'm looking I'm always looking and if I see something that I think I can make an offer on I'll do it I made a four thousand dollar offer on a car that someone was asking ten thousand dollars for earlier today and they didn't shoot me down they said they think about it okay so that's uh that's what you do that's how it works and then you make fun of them on the internet anyway ah what else Anything else good here? 74 Granville, 15 grand. Here we go. 71 Malibu. Good, solid car to restore or finish. It comes with an LS engine, but it's not in it. I mean, what a weird thing, right? It's almost like that happens every single time. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah, it's a DIY kit, but you know what? It is a 71 Chevelle, well, Malibu. Anyway, it's pretty solid 71 Malibu. 12,000? Probably not. 10? Maybe, if it wasn't for the uh, remnants of the roll cage welded into it. I don't think that's too far off, though. 65 Impala. There we go. 4,500 has some kind of window sitting in the back. Two-door hardtop, no motor. Ah, doesn't mention a title. Uh, it has new glass for it. That's something. Uh, none of which is installed. Of course it isn't. Eh, 4,500, 65 Impala two-door he's not too far out of the ballpark. He's, he's, he's on the edge. He's not home run. <laughs> this car's been for sale forever. It's a really nice 
64 Chevelle four door. And it's a very decent 64 Chevelle four door. But you got primer spots on it. You've got the worst wheels I've ever seen in my life. You know it's full of mud. You know it's hacked. And, like, what's with the 90s Chevy truck steering wheel? You can't go buy a steering wheel for 50 bucks and put on it to at least have a Grant steering wheel. And, most importantly, it's a four-door. So, it's not worth that much monies. Not gonna happen. Oh, hmm. Oh, here's a really good one, too. I've seen this one lately. So, 67 Mustang, $20,000. That's 20 grand for this car, for this glorious piece of shit. Now, oh, I mean, he's got the McDonald's sign. That's something. Oh, pressure washing simulator going on here. But, yeah, okay, so you're missing pieces off of it. 20 grand is going to get you a finished coupe Mustang. And then, most importantly, if you look at this one, it's nice. But look down here. Right down there. You have four lug nuts. That's an original six-cylinder car. And then he says it's a 351 Cleveland. I... Don't think that's a Cleveland. I'm pretty sure that's just a 351 Windsor sitting in there, but he doesn't show any pictures of it. We bought it in 06 from the original owner whose brother pulled the inline six and put the 351 in it. Any questions I can answer? Uh, I don't know. You want to put down the crack pipe for a second? I mean, just give me a break. That car's worth about half of that. That means you got all the six cylinder suspension in it, and it's just, it's going to be terrible. Oh, I got a super chat. Who's that from? Aaron W., thank you so much. Hmm. Sorry if I don't keep up on the super chats that well when I'm doing this. I, it's hard to look at two screens. Now, anybody see anything they want to take a look at? Oh, it's a 65 Oldsmobile for $50,000. Now, again, it is a desirable car. It's a nice car. I can already tell that. Very nice car. However, for $50,000, that car needs to be perfect. It has to be immaculate. It might be immaculate looking at that. That one might be worth it. That's not a crackhead. It's a damn shame that that car costs $50,000 and no one will ever be able to afford it. But not a crackhead. Possibly a crackhead. <laughs> 67 Skylark. Hmm. No engine trans. Uh, comes with a 71 350. Eh, yeah, maybe. It might be worth that. I, I don't know. Pretty sure Jay with Irish Outlaw Garage picked up his for uh, less than that, and it's a GS, but what do I know? Now look at this turd Skylark and tell me, I mean, let's take a look at it, but that Sun Coupe is a good deal. The one that we looked at earlier. The car is not rust-free, at least it's honest. It runs and dries, but the brakes need work. Typical. Bench seat, column shift, nothing special. I don't know. I mean, four grand? I don't. I don't think so. But maybe. What else? What else are we looking for? Hmm. F one hundred. I don't, I'm not going to sort to lowest price first. That would be counterintuitive to what we're doing. Also, can you even do that? Maybe I'll sort the highest price first. That would be the... There we go. That should bring out the, the real ones. It's 
this. Oh man, he's parting it out. Nope. Hey, let me see that. There we go. Oh man. Well, what a shame. Somebody really loved that thing once upon a time. Man. I hate to see that. I don't know what it says. Blue Illusions. Man, I kind of like that. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, it's keeping the visor. All right, well, let's make some bad decisions. Is this still available? <laughs> oh, well, if he's still got that, I don't know. I'd probably buy that whole truck. <laughs> That's because I'm not very smart. You know, last time I did this, I had a few people go, he looked through everything and he didn't even get a hold of anybody. Like, that's not the point of this, buddy. It's not what I do here. I'm browsing, I'm window shopping. I already have enough cars. So maybe I'll buy it more, though, you know. Anyway. Uh, what else? Oh, oh, could be a crackhead. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think we got one. Uh, 79 F 150, just a two wheel drive, 302, plain Jane, nothing special truck, $7,500. No, it's not worth that. I hate to break it to you. Hmm. Now, this is an Apache short bed so maybe i don't i don't know solid truck with some patina so it needs paint <laughs> what uh need this gone but not willing to be robbed i mean i don't know that might i don't know those trucks sell for stupid money finished so maybe it's worth that Hmm. 68 Ford GT. Oh, yeah, I saw this one. Almost ready to paint. Uh-huh. I'm sure it is. But that might be worth it. It's a fastback Torino. If it's a real GT, maybe. It's, God, throw those wheels as far away as possible. I mean, what the hell? Let's see here. I don't know. That might be worth it. It's in pieces. It'd be a lot of work. Not for me. Uh, I love it when there's a picture of some written down stuff. Okay, these are the vehicles he has for sale. I see some cheap stuff on there. 65 F100 short bed, 2500 bucks. Yeah, 69 F350 cabin chassis, $1,000. I mean, 69 F250, 390, four-speed, uh, multicolored, 2000 or best offer. 69 F100, 360, three on the tree with overdrive, light blue and white, five grand. Uh, you know, who knows what they look like, because this is clearly some old man who's made this up. But that's probably one where you could make some money or you could get a good deal, you know, at least. You never know. That's a that's a V8 truck. Why block? Oh, we already pulled the engine. Damn it. Hate that. I don't know. It's probably worth it. Is that the long bed, though? I always have a hard time telling for pictures. 
No, it's a short bed. Oh, that truck's totally worth that. I mean, that is probably the most iconic Ford truck right there. 4500 bucks. If it has a title. If it doesn't have a title, it's scrap metal. Somebody I know was looking for one of these. Runs and drives great. 86 F-250 crew cab. It's an extended cab. Just needs a new car, but air filter. Runs and drives great, but why? There, you, you got one picture. <laughs> what? I don't know, three grand, though. That might be a good deal. Could be something. Uh, 63 Biscayne. Somebody wanted to see Biscayne, said the chat. Uh, what have we got? Uh, roller, $2,000. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. That might be worth it. It's a... Wait. Oh, he has a motor and trans to sell with it. It's a 454 400 turbo. Punctuation is important, my friends. Use it. It is good for you. That would look pretty cool on a C4 Corvette chassis. Just saying. Hmm... That's a clear title. Ship me. I mean, that's too much to spend on just a cab, but he's had it listed for 21 weeks. It's probably pretty negotiable. Hmm. An old grain truck. 1200 bucks. Brand one parked. <laughs> Boy, that'd be fun to play with, too. Good Lord, look at the mural on that thing. Sorry. He's just selling the wheels, but uh, look at the twister mural. Oh, man, come on. I want to see your van. It's pretty wicked. I like it. C10. Let's open the, the can of square body crackheads. Oh, highest first. Come on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A mere $92,500. This better be a short bet. Okay, it is. Everything is brand new on the truck. I mean, it's cool. 454. I don't know, 502. Typical boomer ass steering wheel on it. Yeah, yeah. Velour. Mm -hmm. It's missing the ashtray. Uh, it, it is missing the ashtray. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't really care. But I'm going to guess if you're asking $92,500 for something, if you're asking a house for something, it better be, it better be absolutely perfect. Ah, okay. Here's a long bed, 72 Chevy pickup. It's got big meats in the back. It's got a nice paint job on it, 383. Of course it's a 383. They're never a 350. Well, maybe don't take the close-up pictures that clearly show all the swirl marks in your paint. <laughs> oh, my God. It has rust bubbling through in the upper in the drip rail up here. I mean, that's very common on those trucks. But uh, thirty-five grand? No, no, it's a dealership, isn't it? But is it a dealership or is it just somebody with too much money and no intelligence? Oh, look, the same boomer steering wheel. But oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> what? Don't even have air conditioning. <laughs> God, you at least throw a $1,500 vintage air unit on that thing for that much money, huh? 
Oh, wow. That's a crackhead. That is a certified crackhead. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, boy. There, this might be one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 86 GMC Sierra. Short bed, four-wheel drive. $30,000. LS1. Well, yeah. Cool. Frame off, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, it's a joke. It's it's gotta be a joke, right? I mean it's no. <laughs> no rust uh, that you can see. Here's a two wheel drive short bed square body. Has a five three. Uh huh. All stock except a mild cam. Runs and drives great. Waiting on the title to come back. I don't know. It's not worth twenty six thousand dollars. That's plain and simple. But you know, it might be worth something. There we go. That's not just patina. It's fake patina. Ah, 04 GTO drivetrain, LS1. 350 horse to the wheels. Yeah, in a 04 GTO. <laughs> no. um, 25 grand cash. Hey, oh, look, it's got the fuel, the same shitty fuel cell that was in the Ranchero we put on the back of Stubbs. That's really nice. It's got loose wiring tucked into the bed. The braided hose is just shoved down into a hole in the bed. No grommets. The bed floor is rotting away on that side like they all do. <laughs> Only $25,000, and it could be yours. I mean, what a bargain. 82 Chevy Scottsdale. Oh, boy. Four-speed. 350. Four-speed. Not looking for trades. Well, he's got those horrible wheels that everybody has nowadays. That's great. Billet grill. It's got the J.C. Whitney special on the front there. Uh, yeah, that's uh, you know that adds a lot of value. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it is a nice looking truck. The horn buttons cracked. It obviously needs the interior refresh. The interior of both of my trucks look better than that. Uh, seats all broke down over here. It's a four-speed. That's pretty cool. It's missing the pull handle for the door. And he only wants $25,000. I mean, just $25,000. I mean, that's, that's pocket change, practically. 64 Chevrolet Chevy. Ah, yes, yes. That's rare. Ah, okay. Not many out there left in this condition. 350 motor. Okay, so what the hell is it, dumbass? Okay, it's a truck. Okay, they sold those at J.C. Whitney, too. The mirrored bed kit. Does it also have a fuel cell or maybe a toolbox? Oh. Oh, my God. What are those wheels and why do they exist? It's a short bed. It's got that going for it. And the tractor supply toolbox really adds to it, you know. But, uh... Yeah, uh, that that's uh twenty two thousand dollars, twenty two grand. I, I don't know what it's worth. I really don't. Maybe I'm thinking like ten, but <laughs> he doesn't need help selling those. So let's not help him sell it. Definitely not trying to help him sell it. There's a seventy two Nova. For 20 grand that I could see the rust in the quarters and fenders from the thumbnail. Older rebuild with low mileage on a Chevy 400 and 350 turbo. So what? Ah, uh, he has a whole bunch of parts for it, you know. 
You just couldn't find time to do any of it <laughs> in 26 years of ownership. So that's uh, that's really special. For a mere twenty thousand dollars, you too could have a Nova that's as rusty as any other. Wow. Oh, LS swap patina. Oh, my two favorite things. That's not called patina. That's called a shitty old truck. And uh, that's... What? That's a... I don't know. I mean, I guess I don't know. Kids are different nowadays, right? And it, they dream about having $20,000 so that they too can have a truck motor in a truck. But, you know, that, that's uh, something. Twenty thousand dollars. We've hit a we've hit a gold mine of crackheads here, people. I, I don't. This is impressive, really. What's this? Okay, I spy a big block. I spy nice paintwork. Maybe hard to. Oh no, not nice paintwork. Oh no. Oh, that thing's been whacked. Oof, this whole bedside, even in this potato photograph here, I can tell that this whole bedside is body filler. That, oh man. Doesn't, body filler doesn't bother me, but it should be reflected in the price of a vehicle. Yeah, there's, you taking up close pictures. I mean, at least he's doing that. He's trying to show the gaps is what he's doing, but you could see the... The filler swelling in the paint right there. <laughs> it's a, huh. Nice bed. I mean, it's a truck. 16th. Oh, take a nice close up of that cringy thing there. Oh, that's wonderful. $16,500 for that bad boy. No. Your truck's not worth that. I'm sorry. This looks like it has Chevy Cavalier bucket seats in it. Rust-free with 350 and a T5. Probably out of an S10. Probably not a world class. Probably going to break soon. Rust-free. Uh, that is a Mako paint job from like sometime in the 90s at best. And uh, you didn't take any, your pictures you've taken are like 100 yards away. I got a lot of things that look good 100 yards away. <laughs> oh, okay. 94. Uh, OBS truck. V6 with a 5-speed. Cold AC. Wow, wow. Chip in the windshield. $13,500. It's a V6. Also, it's an OBS. It's not a square. The paint's all faded. It's not, that's not patina. That just sucks. Oh my gosh. Man, people are just unbelievable. Just, are they just oblivious? 62 Impala. All right. It's a formal roof. I can already tell. Is it a four door? Guarantee it is. It is. Okay. It's got a 68 Corvette 327 with camel hump heads. So it has a 283 with the small valve camel hump heads. Ah. Oh, yeah. So you want $11,500 for this. And you can see all the, that's not just rust. That's all body filler. All the way down that is all body filler. You can tell that the back doors don't close correctly. All body filler. That thing is handmade. I know, because I've done it. Interior's trashed. Yep, that's cool. No pictures of the alleged Corvette 327. But, you know, it's lowered, so it's probably worth it. Huh? Oh, somebody called me a tire kicker. Oh, I'm a tire kicker. Huh? I'm sorry. You know, is this one? Did I, did I click on one of your cars? Let's see here. Yeah, I'm just here to kick tires. No, I'm here to tell people that these cars aren't worth that. That's what we do here. 
you know, I buy cars, I get good deals on cars because you got to know where to look and you got to know what's a joke and what's not. 73 Ford one ton. It's a dump truck. Holy crap. Wow. Uh, so this is something I don't know a lot about. So I can tell the paintwork's kind of, yeah, that, I would say 10 grand seems like a lot for that. However, boy, I sure, I bet it's a hell of a good dump truck. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you're going to use it, it'd probably be great. I saw this the other day and I was immediately appalled. However, then I got to thinking about it. And I was like, man, when's the last time I saw a 59 Cadillac? And the answer to that was like once, you know, a typical pink convertible 59 Cadillac. I don't know if that's worth that or not. It might be because, man, when that car's done, it's that's six figures, right? I, I don't know. Cool cars. Man, I'd like to have one of those someday. Hmm. Yeah, this is, this is probably a crackhead here. And I only say that for one reason here. So it's a 51 Chevy half ton short bed, four on the floor. Okay, <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Uh, running and driving, though. So let's see, it runs and drives, mechanically all original. It needs the typical rust work on these but there's one thing here that makes this not worth seventy five hundred dollars and that's that it's not a five window it doesn't have the corner glasses it's just a regular old pickup so if that was a five window that would bring rust or not that would be worth seventy five hundred bucks all day long however in this condition it's just a beat to hell farm truck <laughs> so you know uh I don't know what it's worth, but it isn't worth that. This one's a good buy. I can't believe this is still around. These 59s are popular. Two-door post, and it's really not too bad. It's even got an engine in it. Straight six, but still. I, I, I've considered going out and snagging this if the uh, good old General Motors would quit shipping me to Detroit. You know, feel free to message their Instagram about that. But, um, you know, if they would quit shipping me here, I would have more time to do this. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, 59 Impala for 6500 bucks with a title? Or it's a Bel Air, I guess. It's a post, but still, that's worth it. Those cars are very cool. So now we're getting out of crackhead territory and into high school kid trying to sell his pickup truck territory. You know, like this. I mean, no. Mechanically sound. Has ran recently, but not been driven. Uh, swap from a 350 to a 454. Wow. Rockers are gone. Eek. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. I know the market's changed, but I don't think that's worth it. That 55 Ford here is a very good deal. This one, somebody should snag that thing. I mean, that's a good deal. All right, what else? Somebody give me something. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see what we got. Uh, I'll see. There's not going to be any Australian cars up here, man. Uh, El Camino. Yeah, we could probably do that. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. They are just rolling. Merce Mercedes 560. You know, I'm actually going to look up the Mercedes. Uh, let me do that. Let me look up the Mercedes because I'm pretty sure... It wasn't a 560, but it is the, uh, 
I thought I saw a couple of 300s that I thought were pretty cool cars. We already did the Cutlass uh, earlier. The Jag. Hey, thanks, Fuking Muppet. Much appreciated. And again, I'm sorry, guys, if I'm missing your chats or your super chats. It's just when I'm doing stuff, I just, or when I'm doing this, I end up focusing on this, and I don't have the chat. I can't get it to pull up and do Marketplace at the same time. Uh, so, I don't know, is, is this a good deal? I know nothing about Mercedes. Um, but there, I got to find the one. It might have been a 560. Somebody wanted to look at that. Let's do that. What's a 560? I don't know what that even is. No, it was like a 50s car. But it was cheap. Yeah, there, there it is. Why didn't I miss that? Sat in a barn for 25 years. 1800 bucks for a 59 Mercedes. 220S. Now, does, does anybody know anything about these cars? Because I would be... I mean, how cool would that be, right? I mean, you know, uh, wouldn't that be pretty cool? I don't know. Maybe I'd just put a small block in it and drive it around. That'd be the easy way out for sure. Slow is okay. I know they're junk, but can you get like brake parts and stuff for them? Or are you just uh, shit out of luck on that? Not that hard to work on. Rotten is fine. I like it. I think it's cool. I don't, I don't know. Call me weird, but there's some of those European cars I like. 82. Oh, that's the diesel one. Runs and drives great. Very rusty. Oh, we don't mind that anyway. That's a pretty good deal. It's incredibly rusty. Holy crap, that's rusty. But dig the house carpeting. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> oh, okay, well, is this a different one or the same one? No, this is a 58. Needs motor and transmission. This looks like it's in the same condition as the other one that's a pile of crap in the field. It has a shirtless crackhead in the background, so that's cool. Hello, shirtless crackhead. Um, and, but I mean, this, he wants five grand for this. He, now, granted, he's clearly a crackhead, but still, you know, I don't know. Ooh, how is this still for sale? Drive it away, clean title. This car's been for sale for months. I know it says a week ago, but I've seen it listed. It's a flathead six, so I mean that's kind of a bummer, but and it is a four door, but twenty five hundred bucks a shoebox Ford for twenty five hundred bucks drive it home. No, it's not a four door; it's a club coupe. This is a two door; it's a club coupe. That car is worth twenty five hundred dollars all day long. I should buy that. Shit, oh man. I'll save it. Damn it. I'm not going to message him right now because I need to make sure I can even get out there. Where is it at? Kansas City. Fuck. I love those cars. <sighs> well. Hmm. Well, that's about all the mileage we're going to get out of Mercedes. What, what else we got here? Ford Torino Starsky and Hutch car, a 73 Torino, or <laughs> 74 Torino, 75 Torino, 76 Torino. Mercury Marauder, there's not going to be any of those. AMC Cadillac. We did a lot of Cadillacs earlier. Pantera International, 74 Nova. I'm not vacationing in Detroit, trust me. Uh... Capri, we can look, but there's, you know, you know how that goes. There's going to be like two. I 
Unfortunately, we're getting into cars that I, you know, like, kind of like. Uh, let's see. Is Crackhead with an AMX? Well, we could look that up. Vega, Gremlin. AMC, okay. What's this, though? Hang on. I see cars that I like. This is, uh, these are really cool. Glass top. Uh, so these are like the uh, sky, like the Sunliner Fords. They have the glass roof. I don't know if it was glass or if it was acrylic, but um, wow, what a shame that they tore it all apart. They have everything though for two thousand dollars. Those are very very cool cars when done. It would depend on the uh, condition of everything. Why why do people just buy a car and then tear it apart? <laughs> you know, you uh, the best way to keep an object in motion is to uh, keep it in motion. <laughs> <coughs> mm. Well, there's a Capri. 84 Capri. Those are pretty cool. Really cool. Very fast. Okay, so anytime I see this, not all that. Anytime I see this very fast in an ad, I immediately click the X and go away. Goodbye. Because that means you've ran the hell out of it. And it also means you're probably kind of stupid. So not interested. Well, <laughs> not for not for a nice car anyway. I mean, if somebody says that about some pile, well, whatever. But, woo, pants. Okay. Well, we are now into Capris. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I might need that 51 Ford, guys. We did Skylark earlier. Uh, Firebird. Uh, Edsel. There's lots of Edsels out there. They're, they were more popular than people think. So this one's been for sale a while. It has a video of it running. It's a FE, I believe. It was painted a long time ago or something. I think I talked to this guy. But uh, I think that looks like a good... I mean, it's not that bad, right? As long as he has everything, it's not that big of a deal. Now, price is a little high. Uh, probably ought to be a little closer to about two grand if it has a title. But, you know. 59 Ranger. Paint is far from perfect. Runs and drives well. Hmm. Wipers don't work. New rear brake wheel cylinders. That's actually too nice of a car for me uh, because there wouldn't be a whole lot to do to it. I had a 60 Edsel. And mine was a four-door. This one's a six-cylinder. Mine was a Y-block. It's pretty cool. These are very, very rare cars. 60s. The last year of the Edsel. And they look almost identical to the Fairlane. They built like a couple thousand of them. Two 63 Rambler station wagons. Well, I never even knew I wanted one. They don't run and drive, but they have titles for them. Hmm. 2300 for both. Well, that's pretty cool. Those are all six-cylinder cars, but that's kind of neat. It's a Joe Dirt mobile for sure. I like those. That's a good buy. <clears throat> what the hell is this? 55 Nash Ambassador Custom with a Farina body. It's equipped... With a Packard V8. It's coral pink. Why? Gramps, come on. Get a, get a, get, quit taking photos with your digital camera from 2001. Okay. And, but uh, that's cool. I actually really like that. It's a very oddball car. And I kind of like oddball cars. Huh. That'd be fun. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, most of these cars have been for sale forever. And uh, for good reason. Well, I think we're all out of Edsel's. What else we got? Uh, no, 1935 Duesenberg SSJ. Yeah, I'll, I'll get 10 of them. Um, Dodge Polara. Uh, land Yachts. Land Yachts is a good idea. Polara fits into that. Uh, 68 Dodge Polara. Independence. 383. Oh, he'll trade for a diesel truck. Oh, it's got the, the zombie shifter. The ultimate in cringe technology. Okay, so count the doors with me, everybody. We have one, two, three, four. It's not worth anything. Anyway, eight thousand dollars in the engine alone. How? It's got iron heads on it. Oh, it's also got the junkyard Cavalier bucket seat special going on there. And a screenshot of a Power Master alternator from O'Reilly. That's how you ended up with eight grand in it, buddy. You don't buy that stuff from O'Reilly. <laughs> Jesus. Here you go. Okay, 10,500. It's a Servivior! Servivior! 440K code, 350 horse, torque flight, 323 posi. That's not called a posi. It's a limited slip if you want to use a generic term. Needs a little updated brakes in trunk, extra gas tank, and more wheel center pieces. Okay. However, he just fixed the hideaway headlights. That's pretty cool. Uh, that is a convertible. It is a Chrysler 300. That... Could I mean that's he's probably not that far off on the price of that. I see a CUDA in front of it. You think he would know his own Mopar terminology, but I don't know. I mean, it obviously needs a ton of work, but those cars do bring good money. Stephen Runyon, you want a Mercury Monarch? I'll remember that. Uh, let's see here. What's this? Oh, of course it's at an auction. Okay, so I'm not even going to look at that. Oh, we already looked at that. That one's a joke. Uh, what other jokes can we find here? 63 Plymouth Belvedere. Okay. Count the doors with me, everybody. One, two, three, and four, and it's not worth 14000 fucking dollars. I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah. 318 with dual Flowmaster exhaust that sound amazing. So this is a non-car person who has purchased an old car. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's what's going on here. <laughs> Must see to appreciate. Oh, I can see it all from here, buddy. It's a very nice four-door Virgil Exner era Mopar. <laughs> There you go. These are pretty cool. Call Rick, 8675309. Another potato photo there. Yeah, potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the, uh, the drag lights from the same era as his digital camera. Um, velour, yes, velour. What a nice car. Nice car. 12 grand? No, but it's a nice car. And we're out of Polaris. We will continue our land yacht search, though. Let's go with Fury. Sixty-eight Buick Wildcat. That definitely fits into a land yacht. And then we'll do the Mercury Monarch. Nice classic car. Runs good. Good tires. Yep, four door. However, it is a four-door hard top that makes a big difference. That helps a lot when there's no pillar. But uh, 
4500 bucks listed 11 weeks ago and it's still for sale i'm going to say there's a good reason for that 68 cadillac fleetwood it drives oh good solid car i could put my head through the roof solid uh-huh all right we could do a mercury monarch there might be one of those around i mean what would be the same as that that'd be the uh be like a fairmont right yeah there's not the thing is you just can't look for oddball things like that uh, we can do a fairmont though now that'd be a zephyr what's a monarch monarch would be a uh, uh like a thunderbird some or granada be a granada let's see here uh Look for some Fairmonts here. I have, you know, the local Fairmont population has dried up lately. What's this, though? $3,600. I had a side swipe on the driver's side. Got it fixed. You can see the fix in picture. Car still look new on the inside. I just put 4000 worth music in it. And it sounds good. I gave four thousand for the car. Okay. Oh fuck! It got hit pretty good. Oof! I have a lot of parts for one of those. Oh, he fixed it. <laughs> oh yeah, with short strand fiberglass. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know what? I'd call that acceptable. Looks good, but uh, yeah. Anyway, just needs paint, you know, and we all know how cheap that is. Seventy-two Grand Torino, ten thousand five hundred dollars notchback. Mm-hmm. Uh, numbers matched car. That means nothing. What is it? 302, 351, is it a 429, is it anything special at all? Because if it's a two-barrel 302, it doesn't mean shit. And I'm going to guess it probably is, because it's a bench seat car with a column shift. That means it's not worth anything. I mean, it is worth something, but numbers matching doesn't mean anything at that point. Nobody cares. 10,500 makes that kid's... Uh, uh, Torino and Illinois for 2500 look pretty good, I think. Well, out of fair. Oh, wait, there's some Fairmonts a little further away. Ooh, hey. Four new tires on it. Dang. Where's that at? Illinois? Little Pinto? With the Starsky stripe on it, that's pretty cool. I can see the earth through the floor, though, and it's a Pinto, which means that's maybe not the best one. Hmm. <laughs> oh, 69 Torino Fastback for $2,800? Oh, bill of sale only. Man, 351, no good. The heads are missing. Look at all the louvers in the hood. That's super cool. I mean, it's very, very rough. Look at that. God, that's horrible. But, oh, no. It has, like, grandma's loungers in there on swivel buckets. Oh, man. It is cool, though. Too bad it didn't have a title. Like, I'd buy cars like that. There's another uh, Fastback Torino, 2250. No title. Good parts car, though, for sure. You take those two and build you one. Yeah. 
Yep. 75 Thunderbird, $2,000. My buddy had a 75 Thunderbird in high school. That car would do well over 120 miles an hour, and it was terrifying. Whoa, both of them for $2,000. Wow, no titles. Damn. Hmm, well, anyway. What else do we want to look at? AMC Rebel, I mean, Packard? Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. If we're just looking at, you know, for, like, cars, because you're not going to find Packard people asking a ton of money. I thought this was a great deal, too, and it's still for sale as well. Look at this thing. 57 Ford, two-door, supposed, but it's a two-door. 352, three-speed, was a six-cylinder car. Uh, it's got lake pipes on it. Needs new tires. Interior needs work. I mean, it's rusty. A little rust, but it's not that bad. But it runs and drives. And it doesn't look that bad. Needs the typical stuff. And it's a three-speed, you know, it's a stick. So you could easily put a four-speed behind it. I think that's a good deal. I don't know. I'm surprised that's still for sale for 5500 bucks. That could be something. 55 Chrysler New Yorker. This is a survivor and it's running and shifting. Needs major brake work and exhaust welded back up. Wow. You can hear it run. 331 Hemi. Two door hardtop. Man. Need some body work. Four barrel Hemi at that. It is the automatic. That sucks. Because uh, mostly because they're not very good. But it wouldn't have much fun would that be. Sixty five hundred is a little steep, but he's not too far out there. Hmm, forty nine Oldsmobile. Oh, it's a Studebaker. Land Cruiser. Hmm. Uh, do you got any pictures of the car? There we go. Hell, that's really cool. In a hideously ugly kind of way. That's pretty cool. But... <laughs> Land Cruiser Commander. Have not gotten the trunk open. Hoffa himself may be in there. Hey, that's my line. Anyway. Ooh, another 49 Ford. Four-door post. Now you tell me. I mean, this one's a V8 and it runs and drives. So does the other car. You going to take the four-door post or you going to take the 51 Club Coupe for less than half the price? It's a no-brainer to me. the hell is this? Is that a parade car? Phantom A. Oh, it's won first place at several shows. Because that means anything to anybody in the last 40 years. Nice two pictures there. That's nice. Surprised it doesn't have a newspaper clipping of it. Anyway. What else are we looking for? What are we looking for here? Uh-huh. Uh, more twisted tees. No, no tees tonight. Can Am. We can do Grand Prix. Uh, Lagunas. I mean, if you guys look for stuff so specifically on Marketplace, you're never going to find anything, guys. Need good keywords, I guess, but we will see. I know there's some Grand Prix around. There we go. 77 Grand Prix, 2,500 bucks. Runs and needs a tune-up. Will need to be hauled. But he's got a title for it. 
Okay, it's got velour. Yeah, special edition. Oh, 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 rust holes. Oh, 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 eh, you know, whatever. I don't know. It might be worth 2500 bucks. Uh, I looked at this and I shot him a low ball offer. It doesn't run. And I told him, I asked, you know, I, I think I offered 2500 bucks for it. He came back, he said 3800 And I was like, that's not too bad. But it is super nice, but it's missing some interior parts. You can see they've been getting into the windows or something. And I don't know. I've, I've been kind of on the hunt for a giant Ford car like that. Like a nice one, though. Not the junk that I have yeah, to drive, just for fun. There we go. 77 Grand Prix has a 400 small block. Okay, so it's a small block Chevy, huh? No, it's not. It's a 400 Pontiac. 60,000 miles. Wow. New antifreeze and a new oil change. I mean, that's like $30 worth of stuff. This is a good buy. Not for the car, but for the engine. It's a 69 Pontiac. It's a Catalina. It's going to be a 400 at least. Could be a 428. Uh, I'm surprised that's still around, too. I thought about picking that up. There's no title on it. I mean, but... It's probably a two barrel, but it's still going to be a good, you know, to be a good 400. Hmm. What's this? What's this? Oh, look at the pinstripe flames. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Uh, there's primer spots coming out of there where they've covered up some rust. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look, he's got a flame going up. He's got a flame going left. He's got a flame going right. I mean, oh, that's so custom. And, of course, it has a small block Chevy in it. It is a small block Chevy. Oh, no, it's a Buick. Okay. I thought it was a small block Chevy. Yeah. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, it's got this, the tweed upholstery. Oh, with the holes in the doors for speakers. and Yeah, that's uh, three owners. Uh-huh. He's redone all the interior. I mean, except for the giant holes. 350 long block. Yeah, it's a long block. You know, that, that makes it special. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, ooh. <laughs> oh, just asking for $12,000. Can test drive a neighborhood, and yes, I'll ride shotgun. And yes, you will keep that car. Hmm. <laughs> this car is listed somewhere else for like $2,800. Uh, they've needed it gone ASAP for the last 14 weeks. In fact, if you look in the video here, we should be able to get a glimpse into the crackheads. Yep, there they are. So you can see them in the video there. I don't know. I don't think they're crackheads, actually. But 4000 too much. But, uh, you know, I, somewhere they have this thing listed for like $2,800. Uh, and I can't ever find that second listing. I don't want to, I don't want to respond to their listing for $4,000. You know, I want to respond to the listing where it's like half the price. What the hell is this thing? Oh boy. What is with the screenshots? F40 kick car on Fiero running gear, for, uh, Fiero running gear, but it has a 350 Chevy engine and Toronado transmission. Ah. No test drives. Now I can understand that. That's probably a handful. And probably dangerous. What in the... What? My God. Wow. Oh! Oh! 
Okay, we'll get away from that. Um, hmm. Very interesting, very interesting. Uh, Trans Am. So we, let's see a Trans Am. All right. We can look for a TA. Let's sort high to low. Oh boy. 70 Dodge Charger for a mere $155,000. I knew I said, I know I said I wouldn't do this, but you know, I don't know. Yeah, the sad thing is it's probably worth it. It's probably worth it, except for I can tell the paint doesn't match on that front. Oh, my God, that would drive me nuts. Look at that. That B5 blue is a different color on the front of that car from multiple different angles, even this side. They painted the front clip separate, which is why you never do that. You know, these re re hardcore restoration guys say, oh, you got to paint the car in pieces. Uh-huh. Do that with a metallic paint. Get back to me. You'll end up with that. <laughs> look at the gap. Skinny, huge. And then look at the gap on the front bumper. Same thing. That color doesn't match at all. You have to at least blend it. I'm sure the hood looks the same. Otherwise, obviously, it's a very nice car. But, oh, goodness gracious. What in the compensation special is this thing? Wow. I don't even know what to say about that. Nothing nice. Nothing nice, that's for sure. I think the Centurion is really cool, actually. I think that one is really, uh, well, you know, I'm sure he feels real big. Let's see here. Uh huh. My grandpa has decided he wants to sell 76 Trans Am. Very low mile numbers matching car documented by Pontiac. What do you mean documented by Pontiac? The Pontiac doesn't exist anymore, buddy. That's it's <laughs> not a thing. It's PHS documented, maybe. Uh, he's made over fifty thousand dollars of modifications to it. Where? All done by vintage fabrications. Okay. Oh, he put an LS in it. How original. Um, yeah. How does that make $50,000? <laughs> okay. Uh... I hope Kevin and Brandon know that that uh, you know the chats show up, Kevin and Brandon, Boggs, Sir Boggs, <laughs> Brandon, stop it. And spoil the surprise. All right. Uh, let's see here. Oh, boy. Okay, 75 Monte Carlo, only three owners. Little old lady had it for 35 years. Drove it once a week and kept up on its maintenance. One guy before me, he had it for three years, and I've had it for the past 10 years. Test drive available with deposit. Oh, yeah? Uh, Jesus Christ. People are really, really proud of their, you know, dark age <laughs> American-made cars. Sorry. Ding dong. Hmm. Kevin's in Texas. He probably doesn't have any service down there. Boggs.
No, I can't forget the comma. There we go. Yeah, we, I always try to treat my friends well, you know. That's what I do. Uh, anyway. I don't know. I'm just not seeing anything that good, man. I'm really not. Uh, come on, somebody give me something good. Something good key word. Ranwin. How about, oh, yeah, somebody said do Ranwin Parked earlier. Oh, that shows up. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, we're going to sort high to low on this. Uh, <laughs> boy, these prices went down a lot. Uh, okay, 53 Chevy, two-door. Straight six. Hey, look, Kevin does have service. Uh-oh. One 10-inch Corvette wheel. Wow. Wow. <laughs> He has a title, never licensed it. And then, that's cool. I do not, if you want to verify who I am, feel free to contact the police. Ask for the chief. He will vouch for me. Okay. Okay, Boomer, relax. Those are just, you know, that's just a, uh, that's just, uh, you know, it's a scam. Okay, they're not actually trying to verify you. Yep, that's Jesus. Why did Randwood Park not pull up anything? Look at that. They have like four things. And a DeWalt drill, Randwood Park. Uh whatever. What about uh crack? There we go. Uh let's see. I don't see any crack. Um Dang. Anyway. What else? Needs TLC. That's a good one. Okay. Cougar needs TLC. One of 85, 86 Mercury Cougar convertibles made. Runs and drives, needs TLC, bring a trailer. What? One of 85. I love people that say stuff like that. Nobody cares. Okay, settle down. Uh, a lot of things here that need uh, TLC. New house. Be cool. No inside pictures at the moment. In the process of cleaning it out. Well, yeah, you got to get your meth lab out of there. You don't want that entered into evidence, that's for sure. Hmm. Oh, look. So many people got so mad about me, you know, tearing up that $500 trashed Corvette with no title and a bad transmission. But, uh, you know, here's one that runs and dries for $4,500. Uh, you know. Yeah, the, these cars are not worth any money, is what I'm trying to say. C4 Corvettes are worthless. Uh, hmm. Oh, God. Yeah. I got an arm rock. <laughs> The spray painted on striping seems to have fallen off of it. Damn, hate that. Oh, what a what a beauty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now I mean now the price isn't that crazy. Start and drive has an antifreeze leak. Not sure where. So head gasket. <laughs> yeah. Eighty-five custom deluxe. Ooh, my God, that's pretty rusty. Three thousand dollars for that. That's uh, that's not worth that. 
but I wouldn't say necessarily a crackhead. Isn't this like Kevin's a Toyota? Yeah, well, kind of. It's like a little version of Kevin's camper. <laughs> Brandon, your C4 is more similar to mine. Was. That's cool. That's a neat little thing. The seven grand. I mean, it doesn't even look like it's in that bad of shape. I wonder what it drives like. Parting out. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Thanks, Timmy. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> Let's search rent to own. <laughs> that that would bring up some interesting stuff. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I wanted to close the damn window. Quit giving me message notifications. Hmm. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, full part out. Over 200 messages, several tire kickers, and no traction, so we are stripping this one. No, you're not. Ain't nobody stripping that thing out. If you are, it's because it's stolen. Possibly because there's a ratchet strap holding the trunk closed, but still. Oh, my God. Whatever. They probably were asking like $40,000 for it. Oh, nobody wants to buy it. How come? Wiener. Wiener. That's great. That's cool. That, that's wonderful. Chat settings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going we're gonna to get rid of this right now. Yep. Uh, goodbye. Leave group. Ah. <laughs> anyway, now that that's taken care of permanently, forever. <laughs> well, there you go. There's a vet card. You know, it's a U-shaped one. Oh, my God. No, what the... You son of a bitch. I'll do it. Report. I don't feel safe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't want to block the poor guy. I'll just... Yeah, we'll just put it down there. All right. Subaru Brat Banana Vet. What's a banana vet? 944, like a Porsche? Hmm. Like this? That kind of Porsche? Looks up my alley, I'm not going to lie. Yes, comes with a bill of sale, so it's worthless. Excellent. Ooh, excellent. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Hey, have you guys checked out PoleBarnMerch.com yet? Uh, we have lots of hats, shirts, and stuff. You know, if you're so inclined, ooh, a jag, um, you know, we would greatly appreciate your support of the channel. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yes. A rare opportunity to grab a piece of automotive history. Up for sale is a two-owner mint condition 1989 Jaguar XJS Rogue Collector's Edition Coupe. This Jaguar has been... Sorry. This Jaguar has the coveted 5.3 liter V12 with three-speed automatic transmission. There are 42,000 original miles on the car currently. The car has also been garaged its entire life. 
The car has been meticulously maintained over its lifespan and recently had a comprehensive vehicle inspection which entailed all of the fluids in the vehicle being flushed and replaced, along with a new ABS brake module being installed. The car is in mint condition, even still has the new car smell after all these years. That's just the smell of the Jag. The car comes with the original manual toolkit, alternative Jaguar badges, and a cover for the vehicle. You know what? I was so wooed by his description that I don't have $20,000. Damn. Anyway. Uh, here. Uh, let's see. Uh, now that's a little more my speed right here. These are the kind of European sports cars I can get after. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The uh, made in Thailand kind. Yep. The hell is that? Corn? Well, 944 did not yield a whole lot, my friends. Nova's? Nine two eight. Dark side Holly girl is just got her second shipment of pull bond merch. The quality is awesome. I'm glad you love your beanie. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Uh, Nine twenty eight Porsche. Yes. Oh yes, yes. Let's just hmm yes hmm. Mm. A Rockstar Car Auction is proud to present a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to own this remarkable 1989 Ferrari 328 GTS Time Capsule. This car has been meticulously maintained by its one and only owner and boasts a documented mileage of just 2,794 miles. In the world of classic cars, few brands hold the same level of reverence as Ferrari. Known for its iconic designs and unparalleled performance, finding a well-preserved example can be a challenge, especially for older models. <coughs> that hurts my throat. <coughs> Damn. That's why the discovery of this 1989 Ferrari 328 GTS, with its one owner history and incredibly low mileage, is truly extraordinary. <laughs> chortle. Oh, chortle, 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 chortle. God, what a douchebag. Anyway, uh, let's see what else. Yes. There we go. How about some fun and crazy masks? Think of the stores you could rob with all of these masks. Uh, there's no 928s on here, I guess. All right, need something new. Maverick. You need to quit smoking like I told you. No, Paul, how about you uh, read about, you know, a chapter worth of a bad, fake British voice, and uh, I don't think it's the nicotine that got me there. Well, let's see here. El Camino seized. Seized could be it. Pantera. Spitfire. No title. Uh, let's see. Somebody said Maverick, and I... Just not going to find a lot of them. Every time you type in a Ford car, it's going to bring up everything except for what you want. You can be guaranteed of that. All right, here's one for $25,000. Call Rick, all caps, with a phone number. Great. Well, sorry, Rick. Anyway, uh, Nice car. There's not a Ford Ma There's not a 1977 Ford Maverick on this planet that's worth twenty five thousand dollars. Country Squire. We could do that. Let's do Country Squire. I like that. Okay. Is this just not working? No, it is. Hmm, yes. 
57 forward to 500. No. Five thousand dollars. There's no way. Call the hidden information for information. Ah, yes. No. You know, hey, genius says you can't put your phone number in a marketplace listing. Uh, you just got to take a message. You know, you could do that. Um, not free. Five, probably five grand. I bet it's five grand. Huh. Ooh. Hey, that's nice. 77 grand marquee. AC is complete. Never put free on in it or a belt. Boy, that's sharp. It's also a lot of money, but it's sharp. Ooh, look at that. Can you imagine? I mean, just driving that baby to work. Every, I drive 80 miles a day. I mean, it might as well be comfy. Hmm. I, I've sold enough cars lately that I, I could probably spend some money, but I don't know if spending $10,000 on a grand marquee is what I should be doing. Hmm. What's this? Nope. That was my dad who sent me something here. What? Oh, I can't see it. I'm not in a lot of groups. This is cool, though. 75 LTD wagon, $7,500. So it's a lot of money, but it's a 460. Limited slip 9-inch. Really? That's pretty cool. It's a Galaxy wagon or LTD wagon, and it's rusty. It's not worth 7500 bucks. We get that out of the way right now. But it is worth something. I mean, three, four grand probably, right? No BS. Okay. Well, whatever. Ooh. I like that. FE automatic. Hmm. He bought all eight side glass points, plugs, rotor, floor pans. All the parts come with it. I like that. I I want one of these quite badly, and twenty five hundred bucks isn't that bad. Oh, holy shit! Uh, hmm, um, hmm. Well, you know, that's, uh, <laughs> those are really optional at best. Uh, what? It's, uh, really, wow. I mean, I just want, just take a moment and look at that. That's really beautiful. My God. My dad sent me a, oh, it was an LTD with a fake blower on it, <laughs> and it smashed. Oh, I wish I could have got that to bring up. I'll try. Oh, and I guess somebody super chatted earlier. I just looked at my text from almost two hours ago. I'm sorry. Uh, next Silver Dollar Chevy video will probably be after the first of the year when we drive it back to Kevin's. I actually just titled it and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm waiting to see. Let me see if I can get this to pull up. You guys see this? You can see this, right? Yeah. Look at that. My God. Look at Isn't that amazing? That's probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. Holy cow. That is so stupid, but it gets better. It's fake. It was held up with two by fours. Isn't that amazing? No, it's not a burnout car. That's the key, Buff. It's bullshit. It just looks cool. And that's even better. Where is this and how do I buy? Is that a co? That looks like a co part lot, doesn't it? <laughs> it's genius. Hmm. 
Maybe somebody will let me know. Anyway, back to Marketplace. Hmm. Ah, oh, this guy's a crackhead for sure. Been eyeballing it. 73 Corvette, 454, four speed. It's a 73. Remember that, small gear. $37,000. $37,800, actually. That is a crackhead. Sure would be a shame if uh, 1,500 people messaged him and offered him like $10,000 for it. And then I swooped in and said, well, I'll give you twelve. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, um, I don't know. Uh, let's do a little Q&A and, and wrap this up, actually, guys. Oh, that's about all the marketplace I can handle for tonight. Uh, so, anybody got any uh, any questions or anything like that? We'll probably wrap up. Give her about five more minutes, something like that. And uh, I really ought to start looking and going to bed. Yeah, I'm going home tomorrow. When are you going to see the great LTD police chase? Probably when I can quit getting drug up to uh, Detroit for training. Uh, definitely raspberry twisted teas. I don't like the peach very much. Do you work on any 7.3s? No, I don't do diesels. Where do you get the Hawaiian shirts? Walmart. Uh, pretty fancy. You ever thinking about fixing the pole barn? Yeah, probably. Probably going to uh, do a... Probably going to put up a new building next to it. Uh, keep keep it, you know. It's still good enough for working in, but I got to get a new building just to put the cars out, out of the weather, you know. Uh, what are you doing for Christmas? Staying at home. Half and half is my favorite twisted tea, by the way. Yeah, for sure. Were you ever married? Yes, unfortunately. Uh, let's see here. Four by four van build. Uh, started on that last weekend before I had to fly out. How much for my hat? Like this specific hat or one like it? Like one like it, I think is. God, somebody look how much they are. I think they're like 25 bucks. 20? I think they're 20. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Somebody has a Fiero. Uh, what do I think about North Star Motor Swap? I think that uh, you're taking two bad things and putting them together. <laughs> Uh, let's see. When are we getting another Ranchero video? Never, because uh, I sold it. Uh, I'm not donating to Bird Songs Aspen. Not yet. Maybe if I find something hilarious to send them, then I will. Uh, are you going to do a tractor revival? Yeah, probably. I'd do that. That's an outside thing, though. So I'd like to do that, you know, when it's warmer. <sighs> Who's Buff's Garage? He's in here. He's Buff's Garage on YouTube. Check him out. You still have house after marriage? Yeah, it's amazing how that works, right? It was fine. So, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, um, but that was a, it wasn't a bad deal getting out of that. What do you think of VFDs? Okay, well, that's somebody, uh, Somebody I've been training with up here for sure. <laughs> I think they're great. Variable frequency drives. What a great time that is. Why are you blurring your plush hotel room? I don't know. I didn't want you to see the roaches on the walls. 9 millimeter or 45? 9 millimeter. Definitely. Uh, let's see. What does JD want to do when he's older? Trades, for sure. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been chased by a wild pack of Dashuns while naked and eating Doritos? Once. 
What new motors are you going to put into Stubbs? None. Stubbs runs fine. That that uh, miracle fix worked. Uh, that's good enough for me for what he's got to do. No, I don't do any hunting, Gray. Uh, what's your opinion on 60 Ford F100? 1960 specifically? I think that's a damn ugly truck. <laughs> Uh, 60s, I think they made some nice looking trucks. Uh, $700 a good deal on a running and driving K20. Yeah, I, yeah, no doubt. Uh, Dan, I don't know if I'll be here all the time, but let me know. Holy cow. Trevor, thank you so much for that $200 super chat. You download them and save them when you go out on deployment. Well, thanks, man. Uh, I will put it to good use. Well, I mean, no, probably not. I'll probably drink it. But, you know, hey, thanks. <laughs> so, are you moving into your new metal building? Uh, so, uh, no, I, I mean, I, I think I'd probably still do most of the filming where I'm at. I just want to keep, uh, I just want to keep the cars out of the weather. That's really all I want. Yeah, Trevor, Trevor's a, he's a badass. That's for sure. Much appreciated. Have you watched Top Gear? No, I've never watched Top Gear. Are you kidding me? You haven't, you idiot. Yes, of course I have. <laughs> world of wheels uh they don't like me um i don't know i might go back but not with the goat probably i don't think they'll let that one go again i'll have to find something else maybe stubs actually stubs might make a debut the free stubby truck goes to world of wheels and gets a bigger crowd than anything else there that would make sense Will you work on third gen Firebirds? No, I mean, I guess I don't know. I just don't think they're cool. So third gen anything, Camaro Firebird, whatever. I don't know. Did you tell Kevin about the silver dollars I found? Yeah, he all uh, Micah found, Mook found several of them in uh, in their yard too. After we were driving it around, uh, yeah. Are Beetles overpriced? Yes. I think so. They've kind of taken off in the last few years. You know, like 60s or 70s muscle cars better. 60s. Almost without a doubt. Did you get the neutral safety switch fixed yet? No, but I did, um, I, you know, did get the ball rolling on a 461 stroker for it instead. So that, that, that'll take care of that. What's the story behind As Is Tradition? Uh, how Kevin and I say As Is Tradition to everything. I don't know. That just kind of started. I mean, I don't know, dude's like my best friend. So there's a lot of things that just kind of slip like that, right? Why the hate on Mopar? I don't know. You ever worked on one? <laughs> Compare it to a GM car. Parts are easier to find for GM cars. Uh, they're easier to work on. They're engineered a little bit better. Mopars were cheap, and there was a reason for that. Um, I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with their engines or the torque flight or the eight and three quarter or anything like that. But, uh, you know, it's a, uh, I don't know. They, they, like the fact that like the torque converter bolts have to be clocked specifically, and let's put the ring gear on the torque converter instead of like, it's stuff like that that drives me nuts on them. Pancakes rule. Thank you so much for that. Really, really appreciate that. Uh, what's the best year for a square body? You're in the military, so you don't have time for serious work. Um, I don't know. I mean, they're all pretty good, but I will say that the metal used in them in pro in the I don't know early mid seventies, like the first several years of them, that metal is untreated. Uh, that's so those trucks actually tend to rust a lot worse, like 73 to 76 ish. Um, depends if, if you don't have time to do a lot of mechanical work for sure. I think I'd go with the, I'd probably go with the mid to late 80s 
one. Try to get as new as you could, you know. Uh, and the honest and bonus, those are actually worth less than the older ones. So get you, a, you know, one of the ones with the side-by-side -side individual square headlights, and uh, that'd be pretty cheap. Uh, let's see. Why is Chevy's and Pontiac so invincible? I don't know. See, a Pontiac shares quite a bit of architecture with a Chevy. Um, and I think it just comes down to oiling. I think they do a really good job of oiling. And Pontiacs are weak in the rod bolts. And, um, you know, it doesn't really uh, matter, you know, unless you're winging the hell out of it. What's with the... What is... Stop drinking. Stop smoking. Whatever. Okay, let me just... No. Sorry, man. <laughs> I'm, I'll keep drinking my green tea, you know. Are you liking the flamethrower? That is an excellent question. There, let me, let me show you guys something. If you guys are still here, that means you're probably a... Uh, you're probably a fan, right? I mean, you're probably you, you you probably are interested in the flamethrower. You know what I mean? So let's uh, let's browse. Let's browse real quick. Do do share. There we are. Okay. All right. So this is the flamethrower I bought. Let me get you up here. Right here. Oh, no. Dang it. Not the search. I am so computer illiterate. It's not even funny, guys. Stop screen. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You guys stick around. I know. 1330 of you guys, you guys are solid, right? I mean, some of them are kind of flaky. They come and go, but but not you. You guys are, you guys are the real ones. There we go. Oh, my God. 20% off of everything. So, as you can see... Uh, one second. I'm sorry, I got excited. Just, you know, there we are. As you can see here, uh, as we open this up, we have a man in a Santa Claus outfit smoking a cigarette and shooting a flamethrower. And that's how drunk me said I need to buy that. So I did. Uh, I, ha I just got the backpack attachment for mine. I really like it. There is an under barrel attachment for rifles. Uh, so it's really handy to use. Uh, for clearing brush and stuff. I've used the hell out of it. I've cleared my ponds out. It takes like a third the time of cutting the stuff, and it makes it look better. So they uh, really just offer this pulse fire flamethrower here, I believe. Yeah, so I have the LRT. It's not cheap. I mean, I don't want to show off or anything, I guess. But uh, it's not cheap. It just, you know... I, I, I had a few teas and, you know, threw it on the card. So, you know, it's no big deal. Um, but well worth the money, I got to say. Well worth the money. You need a pulse fire, you know. Um, you really do. Uh, this I'm trying very hard to become their spokesperson, even though they don't want me to be. And uh, I'm going to continue to make flamethrower posts on Instagram and Facebook until they finally give in and say, fine. And then I, I want them to send me one of these. I want the underbarrel one. Not that I have anything to use it on, but, I mean, come on. That's close quarters battle if I ever saw it, right? So, anyway, then you can buy it. Now, they were out of stock of the backpack kit here. I found this uh, through Palmetto uh, PSA, uh, Palmetto State Armory or whatever. Uh this takes, so it comes with a 0.3 gallon fuel tank. This is a, a two and a half gallon fuel tank, or 3.3 .3 gallon fuel tank. There we go. Uh, and it gives you four minutes of burning uh, straight. I mean, you just hold her down. It, you can, it, it gets so hot, it's almost unbearable, you know. Uh, it works excellent for clear brush, though. I mean, look at that guy. That guy's cool as hell. He's got a flamethrower. No, it's it is amazing. 
Uh, so you, I would strongly recommend you get that. And as far as the fuel goes, I would uh, suggest uh, I like about 60% gas and 40% diesel is perfect uh, if you can nail that. I haven't needed a spare battery yet, but you might for 20 bucks, it's probably worth picking one up as well. If you are so inclined, such as, you know, I was. So, I don't know. You know, whatever. But, uh, anyway. Yeah, you are right. He's wearing a straw hat. And torching a field of dry grass. Probably not a good idea. Don't do that. Anyway. <laughs> Dude, you spin drunk like I do. You drunk spin like I do. I'm a real role model. That's terrifying. Wow. That, that's scary, man. Watch. <laughs> uh, yeah. When would you like me to drop off the fire extinguishers? Uh, you might need a helicopter. Why not just buy a jerry can and add straps? Uh, because their their tank is actually really comfortable. It's it's probably only that thick. Uh, it's just really well designed. Uh, and I mean, I don't have the time to really fabricate flamethrower fuel things, right? So, but I do have time to uh, you know work a couple extra hours and buy one. Uh. Was it for you? Oh, Otto Ali. Yeah, so uh, she, Otto Ali, right up here, right there. She bought an LTD that I'm pretty jealous of, actually. She got a really good deal on it. And uh, I've seen it on Instagram. That thing is pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad that glad that you picked that up. They're nice cars. They really are. If you get a nice one, they're great cars to drive. But that car's on YouTube, I think. Uh, I'm sure she'll let us know. Would you ever do a scout, Dalton? I had a scout too once. I probably would. Yeah. Has JD used it? Of course he's used it. Dale Kanya, where was dinner today? Uh, General Chan's or something. I don't know. Chinese. Oh, okay. Hey, no, I can answer this. Be honest with us. How many environmentally friendly pits do you have around your property? So there's only one. It's an old junk pit. And I've actually been trying to get that cleaned out for the last few years. I've made, made good headway on it. Really good headway on it. So that's something I try to do in my off time. <laughs> Thanks, pancakes rule. Much appreciated. What's it like being rich and famous? If you mean like uh, middle class and occasionally recognized, I mean, it's not bad. I don't know. I've got nothing to complain about. <laughs> Would you ever buy a used helicopter? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Scared of heights, though. Really scared of heights. That's the way I probably go. I'm, a, I don't, uh, Sir Moth Sloth, I am, I'm up here for my day job. It has nothing to do with video. Um, so, unfortunately, I, I don't, I don't have the luxury that some others do of, you know, gallivanting all over the country. No, no I don't, I don't get to do that. Good. Do any dirt bike riding? Not really anymore. Have. Would you do a Ford Falcon? Of course. Would you ever sell the Holy Goat? No. Uh, anyway, guys, I probably ought to hang it up. This thing's been going on for two and a half hours, something like that. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. And uh, we'll do this again. I don't know, eventually, <laughs> whenever I get time. I get back home, probably going to work on that Le Mans Sport. The 68 Cutlass video drops tomorrow. So keep your eyes open for that, and uh, we will see you guys 
next time on Pole Barn Garage.